Hey everyone, welcome to Dama Scaling YouTube channel. I'm your host Eddie Wang, and today we are going to talk about the just frame knee, which is called so Shichu Dantai, which is the most famous knee in the fighting game history because it's so difficult to do. And uh, this move, uh, it's a knee launcher. It's a knee launcher, and uh, it looks like this. Uh, and as you guys are seeing, it's, it gives like some really cool damage, but it's not a move that you can constantly do like on repeat, like on Virtual Fighter, where on Dora, sorry, on Dead or Alive, where you could do three frame, three just frame knees, and put the opponent high in the air for a really powerful combo. This doesn't work here. The max you are going to get are two knees on Virtual Fighter 5, not three or seven knees in a row no 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 and the lenience isn't really something that this game is known for uh, here in virtual fighter if you did the just frame knee it has to be really on the frame it's a just frame in virtual fighter uh, in, in doha we had like a lenience for the knee and you could even do it on the pad if you if you weren't really so clean with the with the execution on it it didn't need it to be so off but here it has to be exactly one frame if you are like one frame point nine <laughs> there is no just frame knee for you there is no just frame knee for you uh it's really hilarious but it makes it so difficult as well so how do you do it uh there is a display settings uh, and i'm going to put this on and the idea is to press the kick and the guard button at the exact same time but you're gonna have to release the guard button exactly one frame after uh, so you have to practice this here and if you, if you guys are seeing I'm doing this in two frames and that is not the way to go this has to be one one frame only uh, so the way you press the button it's really what matters as you guys are seeing uh, it's really what it's important here is how you release the guard button so this has to be made exactly on one frame and uh what i did to my stick is i have guard button in in two different buttons one on square square button is a guard in my configuration and the other one is the x button which is also uh a word button the punch is triangle the triangle and the kick is of course circle and the rest of the configuration is unchanged i didn't change that but the idea is that when you do the just frame knee for a kill uh you are going to need this lenience that it requires for example to do this and sometimes i get it on the square button and sometimes i do it in the x button better it because uh, there is this thing of the guard that you need to release on one frame and these buttons aren't really something that are super reliable like my old stick on PS3 unfortunately uh, but this is the trick so you're gonna have to practice doing one frame guards on here to get this move going so when you get uh, the knee uh, it's on it's on when you get the consistency it's on uh, but uh, what are the, the good stuff about the knee? Uh, I know a lot of people in the past say you don't really need the knee to be good right? because there is also this knee which is a natural launcher but it's a mid high so people can duck the second hit but it's there uh, and it's much easier to do uh, it just does I believe less damage uh, compared to what you will get with the knee, uh, per se. Powerful, yeah, really powerful. Uh, and uh, what are the good stuff about the knee? First off, is damage. The damage of this movie is like really good, 25, and it's a lot more than 18. And the other good thing about the knee, it's safeness uh, in virtual fighter there is a rule that is kind of similar to Tekken where in Tekken the general rule is that up kick is usually a generic move right it's a generic launcher that is punishable on block at minus 13 and there are not many people that can launch 
hop kicks in the game except for maybe Kazuya but it's generally safe and the max that you're going to get against a hop kick is going to be a 10 frame punishment right 2 frame uh, 12 frames and 13 frames but no more than that and in virtual fighter is kind of similar with knees uh, knee launchers are launchers right they are really launchers but they are also launch punishable but akira is the only character in the game that has a, a knee launcher that is technically safe meaning that you cannot launch this knee and i'm going to show you uh by putting the opponent into a guard guard stance right uh, so if i do the knee akira's knee is 17 frames start up but it's minus 13 on block and jabs in this game start at 12 frames and there is some cases like some really rare cases where some characters do have 11 frame jabs but the max that you are going to get against a block at just frame knee is going to be a pk by most characters a pk not more than that and not less uh, akira knee uh it's minus 13 for that reason and it's 17 frames uh meaning that it's kind of slow right uh so you cannot really break words into the knee at least not from front but if you were if you were on a defensive stance then the knee is guaranteed if you are on a position to force them to uh, uh you are in a position to make them uh, to make them break the guard while you are on a different stance right because if you were like this off axis the the guard break becomes plus 17 see so at 17 frames the knee is guaranteed uh, this move right here sorry this move becomes guaranteed at 17 frames so you have to be a little bit uh, a little bit more uh, uh, execution heavy on on this because this move is is not gonna lie it's going to be very hard to, to do this knee and you cannot do it on a row it's kind of difficult to do this move on a row uh, especially on block and there is another perks to it as well for example there is also uh, another utility to the knee which is to punish uh, certain lows that you can block right some lows in this game are very punishable when blocked like for example this kagemaru low right here uh, this low is minus 31 on the block and of course you can i believe you can jump up to launch it uh, because it's 20 frames it's 25 frames so it's a really good hop kick and it's safe actually safe and he cannot cannot guard this but uh, you won't get as much damage as doing a knee the knee is going to be really just crazy for this uh, you can also do this also works uh, but the knee is usually usually uh, the most damaging option uh, to get this going um, i hope i didn't forget anything so just practice practice this move a lot it's really cool it's really powerful and it's really good it's advantageous to have a just frame knee uh, because you are going to need it on a high level matches specifically because there is some things that only the knee can do right uh, so see you guys in the next video